Today you're going to know my deepest fear with this small test right here on YouTube from Brightside. The name of the video is called The Simple Test Will Reveal Your Deepest Fear. Feel free to take the test with me if you guys want. If you don't want to, then you don't have to. But if you do decide to take it with me, leave a comment down below letting me know your results and I'll read them and respond to them and like them and all of that good stuff. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. I hope you guys do enjoy it. 10 seconds to choose A, B, C, or D for the following 10. That sounds easy enough. I think we can do that, right guys? questions. Make sure to keep track of your points. I will not be keeping track of my points. I'll be doing that after while I'm editing and stuff, so I'll only get to know my results after. Points. You'll need them to find out your results in the end. And All right. starting with number one. What's your least favorite season? A. Summer. I can't stand when it's hot and humid. Winter. The cold makes me want to curl up in a blanket and never leave the house. C. Fall. The sight of dying nature makes me super depressed each year. D. Spring. All the romance is so cliche. Birds singing, flowers blooming, but I like that stuff, though. walking hand in hand. Alright, so my favorite season I would have to say is spring. That's also the season I was born in. My least favorite season would have to be winter because... If you chose option A, you get 40 points. B is worth 20 points. C will give you 10 points. And D will be 30 points. Number two. How do you feel about roller coasters? I'm just going to go ahead and say I've never been on a roller coaster. Just going to put that out there. A. Love them. I'd seriously quit my job just to ride them all day, every day. B. I only like the scary ones. That adrenaline rush is incredible. C. Do the little slow ones for kids count? Because, you know, safety first. D. I'll pass on that. I don't get the thrill of roller coasters. I'd rather go to the movies or something. Okay, so I've never been on a roller coaster, but if I were to really pick, I'd go with B. Because I don't feel like I'd really be scared. And I'd want to, I'd also want to get my full experience. For A, you get 40 points again. This time, B is going to be 30 points. C will get you 10 points, and D is 20 points. Number 3. Who do you prefer to travel with? A. My friends. The more, the merrier. B. My family. I wouldn't go anywhere without them. C. Just myself. I get to choose what I want to do and when to do it. D. Random people. I either find fellow travelers online or right on the spot. I feel like that's a really easy answer. I'd go with my friends. Give yourself 20 points for choosing A. As for B, it'll add 10 points to your tally. C will get you 30 more points, and D is worth 40 points. Number 4. Which of the following job offers would you definitely decline? A. An actor or model. I do not want to be in the public eye having everyone judging my appearance. B. A pilot. I can't imagine having responsibility for the lives of hundreds of people. C. A waiter in my local cafe. How embarrassing would it be to have my friends and acquaintances see me waiting tables? D. Some mundane office job like an accountant or clerk. I don't want to waste my life away in a cubicle. Okay, so I honestly feel like being a pilot would actually be fun. You know, I'd like to, I'd like to try and be a pilot one day if I could, but I'm going to have to go with C. C is my final answer. Option A is worth 20 points for this question. B will get you just 10 points. Add 30 to your score if you chose C, and D is a whopping 40 points. Number 5. What movies do you find the hardest to watch? A. A Walk to Remember and other movies where people lose their loved ones. They always make me cry, and I feel uncomfortable for a while after seeing them. B. Insidious and similar horror movies. I scream every time I watch them and check under my bed for a few nights afterwards. C. Disaster movies like Geostorm. I can't stand seeing all the destruction and loss. D. There's not really a particular genre that really bugs me. It's just movies, you know. So my answer would be D. There's not really a particular genre that bugs me, like the guy said, but had I were to really pick, I'd go with A. But my answer is D. This time, A will add 10 points to your total. B is worth 30 points, C will be 20 points, and D will get you 40 points. Number 6. If you could avoid one place for the rest of your life, what would it be? A. Any dark room. I always leave the nightlight on because the dark really freaks me out. B. 
hospitals and clinics, I'm terrified of pain and possible health issues. C. Heights. A tall building, mountain, even flying in a plane. Count me out. D. Old, dirty, decrepit buildings. They're just creepy and they look unsafe. I'm gonna have to go with C. Choosing A will award you 40 points. B is worth 10 points. C is gonna be 20 points this time. And D will be 30 points. Number seven. What's the worst gift you've ever gotten or could imagine receiving? A. A trip just for me. How can I have fun without my peeps? B. Any sort of surprise roomery decoration. I like to fit those myself and no one quite gets my sense of style. C. A pet. It's too much of a responsibility and you can't just present someone with it. D. A book. Reading isn't really my thing. I prefer more original and personalized gifts. I'm gonna have to go with B, because I mean, like, honestly, who buys people books nowadays? I mean, who reads? I don't even read. Add 10 points to your tally for choosing A. That'll be 30 points if you went with B. C gets you 20 points, and D is worth 40 points. Now, let's talk about something more positive. Number 8. Which of these performers would you invite to sing at your wedding? A. I don't really care. Whoever's available and can put on a good show. B. If only the Beatles were still together. I can't imagine a better performance for my big day. C. Some indie band from my hometown. I want to support new, lesser known artists. D. Anyone who's in right now. If they're not at the top of the charts at the moment, they won't be caught at my wedding. I honestly really don't care. But I'll let my future wife decide that. That'll be 40 points for letter A. B is worth 10 points, C is 20, and D will be 30. Number 9. What's your favorite animal? A. Dogs. A family isn't complete <laughs> without one. B. Cats. I like their independent spirit and unpredictable character. C. Wolves. Wild, majestic, powerful, and intimidating. What could be better? D. A sloth or some other exotic animal. I love everything cool and original. Animals are no exception. My answer is A. I love dogs. Also cats. And sloths. But my, my favorite would have to be dogs. Dog people, you get 10 points for A. If you are a cat person, here are your 40 points for choosing B. C is worth 30 points this time, and D is 20. Number 10. The Earth's in trouble, and you're leaving on a spaceship. What or who do you take with you? A. My cell phone. As long as there's reception in space, that's all I need. B. My family. It's an easy one. C. Books. I never had the time to read on Earth. D. Seeds. I'll need to eat something there. Plus, I can be the first space farmer. My answer is B. Letter A will get you 30 points this time. Give yourself 10 points for B. C will add 40 points to your tally. And D is going to be 20 points again. Okay, take the next 10 seconds to calculate your final score and get ready for your results. What is your biggest... All right, all right, guys. This is where you comment down below letting me know your results. If you took the test with me, you got 10 seconds. Two, one. If you got 100 to 170 points, losing your loved ones is your... Also, let me know if you guys think this is accurate. You know, if you think you got good results, let me know in the comments down below as well. Darkest fear. Your family means the world to you, and you can't even imagine what your life would be without them. Yep, that's certainly a terrifying thought. If your final score is between 180 and 250 points, it seems that you fear natural disasters most of all. You realize that our planet is in a crisis, and you're afraid that one of those crazy earthquakes or tsunamis you see in the news or in movies may strike your hometown any day. Did you get 260 to 320 points? Well, it looks like you are afraid of ruining your reputation. You really love your lifestyle and are proud of what you've achieved so far. What others think about you means the world to you, and you feel pretty uneasy at the thought of those opinions turning negative. In case you scored 330 to 400 points, 
you must be fearless. Sure, like anyone else, you probably have some pet peeves and things that creep you out a little, but there's nothing that's really bugging you all the time. Way to go. Do you agree with your result, or was it a total surprise? Tell us in the comments below. So that's the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I'll be looking forward to be reading your results down in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys next time.